Hi FlossTube, I'm Fiona and welcome to my channel, Fiona's Craft Cottage. Uh, this is FlossTube number 19 and today is Thursday, May 27th, 2021. Um, I hope everybody is doing great um, and uh, 2021 is going really well for everybody. Um, it has been a while since I have done a floss tube. Uh, and firstly, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers um, for coming back and watching and all of my new subscribers. Um, even though I haven't had any new content for a while, I really appreciate um, everyone who has subscribed uh, and you can ring that little bell for notifications um, for when I add new content. Hopefully I can get back into the swing of things now. <laughs> um, so a little update on where I have been. Um, I'm here, still in Washington, um, but we have had uh, some challenges this year to say the least. Uh, ultimately we're all healthy, that's ultimately the main thing. Um, my husband and girls are doing great, we're all doing great. Um, but my mother-in-law, Marge, who uh, lives in Las Vegas, uh, has had some, had some uh, health issues this year. Um, she is 91 years old or 91 years young. <laughs> um, she still lives by herself um, in her little house um, in a retirement community. So she's got lots of friends and activities around her when COVID isn't happening. Um, she still drives, but not very far, um, just to a couple of close by stores to do you know, get some groceries and stuff. So she's not going far. Um, but since January, we did great. Uh, end of January, early February, she started to um, just have some weird things happening. She was falling, she was weak, her appetite was off. Uh, she's a diabetic and we had some issues with her taking her insulin properly. Um, just one thing after another, it went on for about six weeks. Um, and it was kind of weird because the paramedics and doctors were called and talked to and discussed and everything, but they sort of let it go, which we're not real happy about. But it turned out she had a very bad UTI. Um, and so I'm guessing that she was dealing with that for six weeks. It sort of got missed by the people who were there helping her. Uh, we do have a couple of ladies helping her throughout the week. Um, it is what it is. But she ended up spending about a month, a little over a month in hospital. Um, she's doing great now. Uh, yay. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was challenging. And being this far away from her, and needing to talk to doctors and her caregivers, um, it's been challenging and very time consuming. Um, so in that process, we have decided that it would be best for us to move back to Las Vegas to help her. Um, we moved to the Pacific Northwest from Vegas. Um, both our little, little ones were both born in Vegas. Um, so we're really pretty familiar with the area. Um, and it's just a lot easier for us to move back there than have my mother-in-law move here. We don't really want to take her out of her environment if we don't need to. Um, she's very happy there. She's got a lot of friends and um, support. A lot of friends are there helping her. Uh, she's given a lot of help to other people in the past. And so they sort of, you know, they help each other. It's really cool. Um, so we want to, you know, let her have that environment for as long as possible. So we're moving back. Uh, so we have sold our house, <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, we thought we were closing tomorrow, but it actually looks like it'll be next week. Um, which is kind of weird because this whole time, this has been going on for about two months already. Um, our house sold right away when we put it up for sale. And uh, we were meant to close by May 28th or sooner. And this whole time we've been getting told it'll be sooner, but apparently it's not going to be it's actually going to be late. So we should be closing next week. Fingers crossed. Please say a prayer that this goes through. Uh, otherwise we'll have to start again. And um, we just really want it to be done with and um, move on. We are living in an empty house. <laughs> uh, we have nothing uh, but our mattresses, which are air mattresses at this point. Um, we've, we're moving, we're using pods to move, which has been fantastic. Uh, but the pods got picked up, um, early thinking that we were going to close early. And the day after the pods got picked up, we found out that we wouldn't be closing early. So yay. Um, all the beds, all the furniture, everything is gone. So I have a little folding table and a lot of folding chairs here with my stuff on it. Um, 
and yeah it's like the house is really empty hopefully it's not too echoey I'm sorry if it is um, uh, yeah it's <laughs> it is what it is what are we gonna do fingers crossed everything finishes next week um, and with everything that was going on I have not had a lot of time to do any stitching or quilting or anything crafty um, we went from sort of keeping ourselves busy puttering on the house for the last year um, during COVID to needing to get it on the market pretty quickly um, and then of course now we've been packing so we have had quite a busy few months um, that we're at the end of May now is kind of weird to us <laughs> it's the last few months have just flown by so but things are starting to settle down my mother-in-law is doing great we will be moving soon and um, we do believe that work will be much more available in Vegas for my husband so hopefully he will be working again very soon also um, what else we have been vaccinated yay um, myself my husband got vaccinated first and then myself and our oldest daughter were vaccinated um, he did not have my husband did not have any side effects other than a very sore arm um, and then uh, and we had the Johnson and Johnson um, my daughter and I we all had Johnson and Johnson so my husband didn't really have anything my daughter and I also had really sore arms um, the day after my daughter had she said her, le her legs felt really weird and she just sort of felt out of it but it was only for a day a bit of a headache um, the next uh, like two or three days after the I had it I felt great I had no issues bit of a sore arm not a problem uh, but then it hit me <laughs> and I was down for like five or six days um, first couple of days weren't as bad middle couple of days were awful and then the last couple of days were you know it was obviously leaving my system so or I was getting over the reaction so um, it was a little nutty but um, especially trying to pack <laughs> but at least we're vaccinated I'm super happy about that um, so we still have my two little ones who are my two little daughters youngest two um, aged 11 and 8 so they're just not eligible yet uh, my 11 year old is not happy at all um, that she's not eligible probably until November unless they open up something for the younger kids sooner so but we'll get there it's all good so we'll continue to be careful for them um, probably staying out of large groups and uh, we'll continue to mask for now just to keep them safe so please get vaccinated stay safe and let's get over this craziness one second my throat is gone dry okay so haven't done any quilting at all so I don't have any quilting to show today um, uh, and a little bit of stitching um, I'm sorry if I have shown I'm showing double things um, I don't really remember completely where I left off in January I know I had some great plans for the year and they've all sort of gone kaputi so <laughs> um, uh, I have been doing some stitching and so I'm just going to go through the things that I finished and um, then some whips and some haul and um, that'll be about it uh, I did have the great great pleasure of meeting up uh, with some other stitchy friends at acorns and thread a couple of weeks ago um, that was awesome I will insert a couple of photos either here or at the end um, I met up with uh, some of our zoom group um, it was awesome uh, Lady Robbins, Robin, um, and Becca, Sanberry Stitches, uh, organized a day. I guess we were celebrating or being vaccinated, and it was my kind of last hurrah. Um, I probably won't see these ladies in person again um, uh, until I like, like come back for a visit or something. So that's in the plans, but I don't know when. Um, so there was Lady Robbins, um, there was Sanberry Stitches. Uh, there was two martini stitches. Is it two martini stitches? I think so. Sorry, Erin. I'm so sorry. Um, Stitchy Witch 42. Finally getting that one down. Um, uh, Stitch Roadie or Quilt Roadie, depending on what channel you watch Anna on. And then there was also Punky Pearl. Oh, I'm so sorry, Heather, if I got that wrong. Heather. Um, Super happy to meet Heather in person, everybody in person really. It was my first time meeting Aaron, so that was also a great pleasure. Uh, and then Robin, 
and Anna brought two friends with them as well who are very lovely ladies but I forgot their names I'm so sorry I'm not good with names and I should have written them down anyway we met at Acorns and Thread um, Acorns and Thread has newly expanded their store oh my gosh it is so awesome walking around with lots of room and uh, so we spent some time shopping and then went and had lunch at McMinimins right next door and um, had a great day it was awesome to see everybody um, I would like to thank Becca for my first Ray Dunn mug. <laughs> this is awesome and perfect timing. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry, my lighting is not good today at all. Um, hopefully it's okay. So, Ray Dunn. Um, I don't have any Ray Dunn sold here locally, so I've not gone down that rabbit hole <laughs> until now. I love this mug. Becca, thank you so much. Um, it keeps things so hot. I mean, seriously, if you get one of these, it should come with a burn warning. Um, the first night I used it, uh, with, I made hot chocolate in it, and it took over two hours to drink it, and I did burn my mouth. So um, be careful. But I love it. Um, I do use it mostly now without the lid on. It's um, If I can get the lid off. So it's lots of room, and um, because everything is being packed away, this is my favorite mug to go to, awesome for traveling as well, and keeps everything super hot. Um, so I actually will be looking for more of these. <laughs> I've already told my husband, he's been pre-warned. Um, Ray Dunn will be coming into the house. Um, so that's another conversation for another time. Though. So thank you so much, Becca. I love my mug um, and it is getting used a lot. So that was awesome. Uh, down that rabbit hole I go. So, we'll see. Okay, so, stitchy stuff. I have some haul from my Acorns and Thread also, but I'll save that to the end. Okay, so, I have do have some finishes. I may have shown this back in January. I don't remember. I know I was working at it then. This is Sew by Row by Laurie Holt. Uh, it was a stitch along with Back Quarter Shop. Uh, each week we did a different row. Uh, it was super fun to stitch. Uh, and I was working on a FFO for this, but I obviously got distracted and it never got done and everything got packed away. So, but I managed somehow to keep some of this stuff out. I don't know how that happened. So that is one finish. That is this. Uh, and if you are a quilter, there is a quilt pattern um, available for this also. Uh, that Fat Quarter Shop at the moment is doing a monthly Thing, which I will actually show it's going to be a part of my haul and you can subscribe to Fat Quarter Shop to get like they're doing each month there's going to be a different row so so far I've received the scissors and the pin cushions and the next one will be the sewing machines which will come in the next week or so but I might need to call them and put it on hold or it will just be sitting in my mail when I get it forwarded so that was awesome very cool love that one <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, now the next two are from Hands on Design and they are free downloads on her blog. Um, every year um, she does a free design for her anniversary in, I want to say these were posted maybe in February for her anniversary, maybe January. Um, Kathy posts them on her blog. Um, I know this one was from a couple of years ago, so I need to cover though the, hopefully you can't, there we go. So um, there's a design and this is how I stitched it. So it is on a chalkboard, 14 count Ada. Um, and I actually used the DMC metallic thread. Um, for all the colors, for the white, the blue, and this burgundy color. Um, I don't remember what the numbers are on those. Um, and I probably didn't write it down. Maybe I did, but I don't remember. They're the metallic threads anyway, white, blue, maroon, or dark red. So love how it came out. Um, hoping to turn it into like a little pillow or something. We'll see. Okay, and then the other one, this one is actually from um, this year, I believe. And they celebrated 
uh, Kathy and her husband, Mr. Hands on Design, celebrated 33 years, uh, celebrated this year, 2001, 33 years. So congratulations, Kathy and your husband. Um, this is Love You. And again, this is a free design. There's a design and there's my stitching. Uh, and this is available on Kathy's blog. And this is stitched on <laughs> um, uh, maybe 32 count Lugana, I'm going to say, I want to say. And I would have used the called for DMC colors. I think. And the fabric I hand dyed myself. Oh, uh, just a little update on my Etsy store. I meant to mention this at the beginning. Um, at the moment, my store is on vacation, uh, but I am planning on um, getting it going again once we get settled in Las Vegas and I get some more fabrics dyed. Um, I'm not sure how long that will take. Hopefully, um, hopefully by the end of, or maybe in July. I don't know. But I'm hoping to get it up and going um, as soon as possible. Um, so there we go. Nice little interruption there. <laughs> so uh, this was super cute um, and a quick design to stitch uh, and I plan on using uh, uh, finishing it into a pillow also. Um, then I have this, it's from this book which was new. Um, it is Jelly Bean Jubilee by um, Brenda Jubay with I Needle and Thread. Um, it's a collection of seven Easter themed smalls. I'm sure everybody's seen this at this point. Um, and I had plans to stitch more than one here, but I only got one done. And it is the Hippity Hop colour. And I would have used the Cold for Thread. I just have an easier time getting it here locally. So um, this is stitched on 32 count Lugana and I did use the called for DMC thread which is just white and a pink. So super cute. It will also probably be turned into a pillow and hopefully I will get some of the other designs stitched. I have a lot of material here. Um, this fabric I also hand dyed myself. It's a pretty big piece. Um, that hopefully I can get some more Easter stuff done at some point. We'll see. <laughs> uh, another finish was a stitch along with um, Fat Quarter Shop. It is the Prim and Cropper. Sorry for the crinkling. Um, uh, this one was after the Sew by Row. Um, and this is also a quilt design also, really, really pretty um, quilt design. Um, it was a very fun stitch. Um, each section was uh, really nice to um, get this. Each section in the stitch along was easily enough to complete that I was still getting some other stitching done on other designs. So that was really cool. And I use, oh, this is stitched on 25 count Lugana. And I use the called for. DMC colors. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to finish this yet. It may just actually get put in a frame. I'm not sure. I'm kind of feel like I'm out of finishing, like fully finishing mode. I'm not sure. <laughs> and I don't have anything here to finish with. So everything is just going to get packed away for now. And um, I'll have some fun when we get to Vegas. Uh, this next one is spring it is in this magazine the punch stitch and promoted stitcher um thank you gina uh slamming the screen door she um sent me some stitchy kindness i'm so sorry i don't have it here or that this is finished i was super excited um that gina sent me the finishing let me show you the first off let me show you the design so this is spring by the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch, of course. So it's stitched on 14 count 
um, chalkboard and I used the called for DMC colors. Sorry, I've got things marked in here. Here it is. Okay, so let me take that off. <laughs> okay, so that was this one. And so this finishing piece, Gina sent me, thank you so much, but it has been packed away, so I will show it in a future um, costume. But thank you so much, Gina, it was so kind of you to send that to me, and I'm so excited to finish it off and do the rest in this series. Um, so that was cool, and I actually like this magazine. I actually found a few things in it. I thought that was really cute. This one here, it's a little sampler. There we go. I thought that was really cute, so I may stitch that in the future. Um, and what else did you guys see? Oh, this one was also cute also. It's called The Red House Sampler by Teresa Miller of Teresa's Primitive Treasures. Let me just fold it so you don't see it. So I thought that was really cute too. So I may stitch this one in the future also. There was a couple in here though. Um, so yay. Uh, but, um, and if you're a punch needle, um, punch needle, yeah, punch needle person, um, some cute, super cute designs for that also. I just have not gone down that rabbit hole and probably will not be doing that in any time soon. Um, I'm just going to leave that for the experts to do it. Mm -hmm. So that's that. So that is pretty much all of my finishes I, I have done so far this year. Um... I may have had some other whips, but I can't remember at this point. I don't know what I was stitching on, if anything, through February, March, and April. <laughs> um, obviously, I got spring done and some of these other things finished, but that was mainly back in February, I believe, actually. Um, for most of May, I have been stitching on Modern Folk Embroidery. So I hope you can see this. My paper's really crinkled. So this is a um, yearly sell. It is uh, the Fruits of Plenty Stitch Along for 2021. And so uh, we've already done January, February, March, and then this was April, and the middle part was May, and then we have not got June's yet. So that'll be over here. So I have finally finished in February, March, April. <laughs> so that is it. Um, and I, I'm, I'm loving it. It's just a lot of stitching. So I will have now finished January, February, March, and April, and we'll start on May over the weekend. Um, and June will come out next week. Um, this fabric is, I don't know if I can get it really, really close. It is 28 count Monaco. It is not like any other Monaco I have seen though. It's really soft um, and it's very different to what I would pick up at like Michael's or um, any other Monaco I've stitched on. Very, um, it's very soft for Monaco. Um, but I'm liking it. Not completely happy with how the stitches sit. But when you, because I'm seeing it close up and through the magnifier, but once I sort of pull it away, it looks fine. So that's the main thing. I'm not starting it again, obviously. So that's that one. Hopefully by, so I've still got May. So I'm pretty much a month behind until next week. I'll be two months behind. Um, so I'm hoping that by the end of June, I can at least catch up and say I've caught up on the first six months. And then hopefully for the rest of the year, I can stay caught up as well. So we'll see. I'm hoping to have more stitching time in the near future, um, like now. <laughs> I've got nothing to do now other than sit and wait, so I will be doing quite a bit of stitching. Um, and now my last one is um, a new start that I started a couple of weeks ago. It is Flea Market Flowers by Laurie Holt. Um, Fat Quarter Shop is doing a stitch along with this. You can go to their blog and see how they've split it up. Um, I believe these first two, or maybe three, for the first section, but they're sort of going along the top and splitting each part up. Um, so, but you can find it on the blog. Um, I've decided to go straight down, actually. Um, I have 
we've got this bar. So there's the flowers I've stitched. Um, very pretty. Um, such a pretty, pretty design. I'm loving it. Um, and I am also making this quilt. Um, I started it back in January, but have not got very far, unfortunately. But I will be getting back into that one as well. It's um, high on my quilting list. So I am going to go on straight down. So I'm just going to go row by row, I think. Um, and I'll keep adding the border around it as I go. Or get do a bit of the border and keep working on the flowers. Um, but I'm loving this. And this is stitched on 25 count Lugana, which I'm really, really enjoying because it's easy to see. Uh, and the fabric I hand dyed myself. So that is um, all of my stitching to share with you today. Uh, but I have some haul. Oh, I have some haul. Cool. I have some haul. I'd like to say that I got most of this over the last few months, but that would be a lie. So, well, I guess I needed some good retail therapy. That's what I'm going to go with. So firstly, um, let me share the haul from Acorns and Thread. Um, got my bag here. And <laughs> it's a little full. Um, but I can blame Becca and Anna and Audrey and Robin. Just blame everybody for all of the things I purchased. They are very good at enabling people. I love it. Okay, so my last hurrah at Acorns and Thread. Okay. Um, I just sort of grabbed what I liked. <laughs> There's actually a little bit more there than what I realized. Okay, so let's get started. We'll start with, I picked up um, 2001 Santa for the Prairie Schooler. Um, I've started collecting these. I'm not sure when I will start stitching them, but um, I'm hoping to at least get a couple done this year. This is, um, let's see if you can see it through the class. No, nope, you cannot, sorry. All right, sorry for the wrinkling. I didn't take them out of their packages. Okay, this is by Romina. Petrucci, Romina Petrucci. So sorry, I know I butchered that. In the mood for cross stitch. Look at the cow, it's so cute. Uh, and I grew up on a dairy farm, so I couldn't leave this one. So I'm in the mood for cross stitch. So I actually would like to start this one soon, but. Mm. <laughs> I've got a lot pitted up and ready to start, so I don't know. But I think that's just adorable, and I don't think it would take long to finish. The cow is so cute. Okay, so I also got this um, Jordan Prevé. Um, oh, here's this gnomes. <laughs> I should have Googled this maybe to um, Google the title. Something about gnomes. It pays to be gnomes. Upes des gnomes. There's no English translation. But they're gnomes and they're super cute. Um, I'm not sure if I will stitch it all together or I may actually split it up and make like little um, summer pillows for a dough bowl or a tea tray or something. I'm not sure, but they're just too cute. So that was that. Um, we also got Chris, uh, uh, Teresa Kovic. It is a Christmas one. Um, all the things it's called. It's a Christmas one. Um, I don't think I'll stitch this all together either. I think I may um, take bits of it out and make little Christmas pillows for a dough bowl or tea tray. Um, I'm really liking those ideas to be able to finish the smaller things. And... Um, Get things finished. I think 2022 might be a year of smalls for me. And then try and finish bigger stuff or other stuff. I don't know. All right. I shouldn't make any plans, actually. Let's just not do that. Because every time I do, something happens. So this is super cute. I love this one. 
This is Merry Christmas by Cottage Garden. Cottage Garden samplings. Super cute. So love that. Should be quick and easy. I enjoy um, stitching words, so uh, that'll be fun. Okay, this one is Ink Circles. It is, oh, it's by Ink Circles. It's um, Chartres Labyrinth. Touch res labyrinth. I'm just butchering the words today. So super cute. You have a bigger one, and then I guess yeah, there's two charts in here. I don't want to. Oh yeah, a bigger and a smaller. So cool. Um, love the labyrinths. There's actually a really cool labyrinth by one of the hospitals in Vegas that we used to go to a lot, um, and loved it. It was very meditative. So I'm looking forward to doing that again. Maybe hopefully it's still there. Okay, this one is by Erica Michaels. I can't take it out unless I open it. So can you, hopefully you can see that. Holiday Home Berries by Erica Michaels. So looking forward to making some strawberries for Christmas. Um, love making the biscotti, so I thought I would enjoy making those as well. Um, this one is another Brenda Jabay. This stuff has been catching my eye a lot lately. This is Red, White and Bloom. Super cute little Patriotics. So I'm hoping to get a couple of these or one of these done in time for 4th of July maybe. Obviously not Memorial Day now. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll try and get little Uncle Sam done under there. He's cute. I don't know. So super cute. Um, I don't have any, I only have enough fabric with me to start what I have kitted up. So I really shouldn't be making any plans to start any of these because I don't have any fabric. Um, and when I have boxes and boxes of it in a pod, it's kind of weird to go buy it. So I think I'll just wait. Okay, this is Hands On Design, um, part of their block party series. And it is Wolf. I just thought my girls would love a little puppy, puppy um, pillow, pin cushion thingy. I don't know. What do you call the cubes? Are they cubes? Blocks. Maybe they're blocks. I don't know. I haven't made any of these yet. Um, but super cute. I love the dogs. And it does come with a little fabric to ooh, put on top. Sorry, I shouldn't show the back. So some fabric. Put it up. There we go. Okie dokie. Okay, I also got, sorry, putting them back in otherwise I won't remember what bag goes with what. And I also got the Meow Block Party. If we have one for the dogs. For our Marley puppy, we need one for our cats as well. So that's that. Super cute. And it also came with the red fabric to put on top. So I don't think these will take very long to make either. They'll be fun. Okay. I also got Bee Garden by Heartstring Samplery. I wish I got a lot. It's cute. I want to do some bee stitching. Um, so I will do this in the near future. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Sorry, I've not got very good lighting today. Um, I started setting up. It was super sunny and beautiful. By the time I finished setting up, it was overcast, cloudy, and uh, rain, like pouring down. So I added more lights, and then the sun came back out. <laughs> so it's one of those days. But I wasn't going to not do a floss tube today. I was determined to get one in by the end of May. Okay, so I also got Little House Needleworks Main Street Station. And this is actually chart number two. Um, I love the train station. So I will have to get the others in the series. Maybe number one would have been handy. Um, but I'm hoping to start this, I don't know, probably at Christmas time. I don't know. Otherwise, I'll just collect the charts. Um, and I also...
also got, I've actually seen this one many times and I love it. It's called One Nation. I think this might actually be a PDF download available on Etsy. I could be wrong. I'm sorry, but um, it could be. And so it's the flag. And then um, in each of the rows is actually the names of the states. And I believe that all the states are stitched in order that they joined the union. So um, I thought that was just really awesome. What a cool piece. So the first state to join the union was Delaware, and then Pennsylvania, and then New York, apparently. So I thought that was awesome. And the last one to join was Hawaii and Alaska. So there you go. So I thought this was awesome. I've actually had my eye on this for quite a while, actually. Um, I think it's going to be kind of big. <laughs> I need to stop doing big things because they take longer. Okay, so that, oh, and also my last, my last little piece of haul from Fat Quarter Shop, oh, not from Fat Quarter Shop, Acorns and Threads, sorry, is this, um, it's a scissor fob, I guess, and I don't think the photo is really going to do this justice. Um, it is, I think they call this, ooh, it's from Fern Ridge Collections, and I think Obviously, it's all beading, and you use something called like a peyote stitch, I want to say. Um, I might have that wrong. I should have Googled this before I started it. So it came with all the directions. I should probably watch some um, YouTube videos on this. So it's got charm. So the kit came with everything. It's got the beads, so the directions. Flush those up. And then all the beads. So I got two needles in the kit. Because I guess you use a two needle method. And then all the beads. Like all the beads. Let me just hold them up. Bags of beads. I might try and work this out this weekend actually. And then there's little charm, bee charms and stuff. So lots of beads and then the charm. So I have seen um, the Acorns ladies talk about um, making these and was fascinated. And um, finally was at the store to grab one and remember to grab one. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how that one goes. But I should actually make it over the weekend. Maybe I'll do that. That'd be a good Memorial Day thing to do, right? Um, so, that might be my Memorial Day plans now. i yeah, leave that out. I think I have everything I need for it. Yay! Okay, so, I have a little bit more haul. <laughs> I, um, thank you to Anna, um, Stitch Roadie, or Quilt Roadie, depending on what channel you watch. Uh, she had recently shown, uh, shown, showed, sorry, I need more coffee, um, Yazzie Bats. And um, because we're getting ready to hit the road, I thought one of these would be absolutely fantastic. So I have purchased the Yazzie bag. I don't know that this is the one that Anna actually shows. My pockets seem a little bit different to hers. Um, she does have a red bag and she actually put, if you watch, it was just recently in the last few ones, she actually quilted the prim and proper. So she participated in this stitch along with Fat Quarter Shop. And then she actually um, made like a little quilt out of this design and put it on her Yazzie bag. And so it sits on here and it's all decorated. It is awesome. Um, great way to embellish your bags with either your quilting or your cross stitching. Uh, she also has another one for her hexes that has a little hexy design on it. That was awesome. Um, as I get more, have more time to quilt and start doing hexes, I now know how to organize them. Thank you, Anna. Um, and uh, this bag is a little pricey, but 
um, I found this on Amazon and I think it may be an older version because um, it was priced a little differently to um, some of the other ones. So I think I got an older version, which I'm okay with because the pockets are perfect for me. Um, so I will hold it up. Okay, so this is the front. So you have lots of pockets. You've got two small ones here, a longer one there and then there. And then you have two zipper pockets here. So I have my stitch cards from Be My Bonnet and Laurie Holt up here, so I know where they all are. Then we have two regular sized project bag um, zipper pouches. And so I have things kitted up in here. Um, actually, <laughs> oh, that's actually no, these are just kitted. So I'll save them. Um, and then next, the next one, oh, sorry, things are flying everywhere. Uh, the next set of, um, what would you call them? Pages? Inserts? I don't know. So the next one you have four little zipper ones on it and all zipper with the clear plastic. Um, in here, actually, I can show you this. I haven't thought of this one. This is... I actually tried to stitch on 40 count. I tried. I tried and I failed miserably. So I actually started stitching um, What a Time to Be Alive by Heartstring Samplery. This is an exclusive at Acorns and Thread. And I decided to give it a try on 40 count. Let me make sure I actually have it the right way. I think it goes like that. That's as far as I got. And then I decided it was best that I stopped. Maybe it goes that way. I don't know now. I think it's this way. It is way too small for me. I, um, I can't see it even with magnifiers on my eyesight. I guess it's just not made for 40 count fabric. Um, but I like to hand dye it. <laughs> um, so that was my 40 uh, linen attempt. Um, I was all excited to try it. It just did not go well at all. So maybe I'll try it again in the future, but I don't think so. So after those, after the four zipper pages, you then have two more. I'm getting caught on the straps. Sorry. You have two full size um, project ones again. But these ones are actually Velcro at the top. It still fits a lot in them. Oh, hey, I didn't show this. See, this is why I look through things. Okay, so earlier in the year I showed, uh, no, oh, I don't have a photo of it. Okay, so, um, is it here? Sorry, I'm very disorganized. Okay, so early in the year, I made my first little drum. Um, it didn't go very well, but I made it. So this is a series called, um, it's a pincushion series by Tiny Modernist. Um, they send out a different, if you sign up for the whole year, you get a new one every month. So January was, remember I would have shown it in the last one <laughs> so if you want to see it go back in my last YouTube um, video and you'll see it um, Cinderella Sleeping Beauty maybe I don't know anyway February's was Cinderella so and I actually did finish this here is the top Sorry, I didn't iron this one. I totally forgot it was in here. So that's the top. And then this is the side. And so it will be joined. That'll be the round part. And then this will go on top. Um, and I am stitching on 28 count Monaco uh, using the called for DMC colors. So January 
I don't remember what January was. February. Actually, hang on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, Little Red Riding Hood was January. That's right. Little Red Riding Hood was January. Cinderella was February. Um, February, March. Do I have March printed? Yep, Mo May. Oh, I didn't print March. Here I was thinking I was so organized. I guess I didn't print March. But April is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Super cute. And May is Rapunzel. Also very, very cute. So I will be working on these at some point to catch those up. I'd like to have them all done by the end of the year. So I don't remember what I have packed into this bag and what I haven't. It's fun packing it though. Fits so much stuff. All right. So those were the Velcro pockets. Everything fits in there. And then you turn it over and at the back you have two more smaller zipper pockets, two more smaller sections over here. Oh, this is really awkward, sorry. Um, and these are just Velcroed. And then a little zipper pocket with the uh, pens or whatever there. Um, and Anna actually had a big pocket in the back where she could fit her um, her light, her Halo Go light. I don't have a pocket on the back of any of mine, but I do fit my Halo Go light right in the middle and I can close it up and it fits fine. So I love that. Um, it's awesome that it keeps it all together. So um, there is a website that I will link below um, for Yazzie. I think it's yazzie.com. And I will also include the link on Amazon where I got this bag from because it was um, substantially cheaper than the bigger one. So I don't know if I just got a smaller version um, or not, but it works awesome for me. And then my last piece of haul is a, um, a uh, Q-snap frame. I actually... I um, have been using Q-snaps more often and I decided to buy one of these. Um, I got this one because I thought it would be easy to use traveling, that I could sit this section under your leg, um, although I'm actually finding that it sits on your lap really nicely and I actually prefer that. Um, so I found this on Etsy. It is by, I had a piece of paper. It is by K Creations. Um, it is the sit on needle frame. Um, and I ordered this on Etsy. Uh, they do make them to order and it came really quickly actually. It was only a couple of weeks. So highly recommend these. Um, you put your frame in here and there's lots of ways to adjust it. So, um, and it wasn't overly expensive either. I figured if it was gonna be traveling with me and it got banged around then it would be okay. So that is um, all I have to share today. I think I've shown everything. And my folding chairs, yes. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've watched all the way through, this is a little longer than what I intended it to be. So thank you so much for hanging in there and watching. Um, again, thank you everybody who uh, sub subscribes and watches on a regular basis or watches it all. Um, <laughs> um, I really appreciate um, everybody who watches uh, please leave any comments below. I will be reading them and um, will comment also. Um, and any other feedback would be muchly appreciated. Um, so uh, have a very happy Memorial Day. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful long weekend. Stay safe and um, yeah, have fun. Uh, it is my husband's birthday tomorrow. So we are going to make a long, long weekend out of it and um, just relax. <laughs> We're ready just for a really quiet weekend um, after the craziness that has been the last few months. So we are just gonna hang out at our house. Um, we might do a little yard work, keep everything up, uh, a little cleaning, uh, probably not. Um, the house is pretty much ready to go, we just gotta get our stuff out. So um, hopefully when I come back, um, I will be in another location and um, 
I don't know when my next boss suit will be. Sorry, I'm not even going to plan anything. Hopefully a week, two weeks, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, hopefully I will have things to show you. So happy Memorial Day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this community is awesome. I love all of my Stitchy friends and Zoom group and um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for um, the support that everybody has given on uh, Instagram. I am on Instagram also, Fiona Fra Cottage. Um, I have posted a little bit over the last couple of months about what's going on and have received a ton of support and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I love this community. Uh, you guys are awesome. So I'm going to cut it off there and um, you guys have a great, great weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, um, get vaccinated and um, let's get past coronavirus. Yay. I will see you in Las Vegas. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.